Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and wear test on the new CoverGirl Clean Fresh Silk Makeup Foundation. It claims to be a more natural hydrating wear. Blurts out imperfections, evens out skin tone. It's a sheer buildable coverage instant and all day hydration and this does have that dewy finish today i actually already went ahead and moisturized with my first a beauty ultra repair cream but i like to kind of go back in with another moisturizer before i apply foundation because i want my cheeks to be extra hydrated because they've been really dry lately so i'm going to be taking the tatcha the dewy skin cream Okay, so now for our primer, I'm going to be using Cover FX Gripping Primer. The reason I want to use a gripping primer is because this is more so of a lightweight coverage, and it's also more on the dewy side, so I just want something that's going to make sure that the foundation kind of stays in place. Now we can begin using the foundation. So like always, I'm going to do one side with a sponge and one side with a brush. I have a feeling that this is going to work better with a brush than a sponge just because the sponge is always damp and it tends to absorb that product. And this is more so of a lightweight consistency. Um, I did purchase this in tan. So we're going to go ahead and start off with this side right here. And I'm going to be taking some of the product is runny dotting it all over my face Ooh, actually the color may be good i hope so feels very lightweight very fresh and i'm taking my l sponge so this is called what is this called the silk milk it kind of smells like milk I'm actually doing pretty well with the sponge I thought it was literally going to make it kind of like separate. It covered a good amount. It covered more than what I expected um, because it is more so that lightweight consistency, sheer, buildable, and I have rosacea. I was thinking that it was going to cover much less, but I have to say I'm kind of impressed. You can see the difference between what it covered of my rosacea and what I still have completely uncovered on the other side. I am going with one more layer. But I think for right now, these winter months where we tend to need that hydration much more, I think this is feeling and looking really nice for that. So I'm just going over. You can see the luminosity right there. Okay, so there you go. You can see it. And I still have some left, which I could go back in. But I feel like the more I go in and build more product with a damp sponge and a very sheer coverage foundation, I feel like it tends to kind of separate. So um, I think what I may do, if I still want to add a little bit more in the cheek area, because I do see a little bit of redness, I can always go back in with the brush and kind of add a little bit more. Um, but I think for now we're good. And I'm going to be taking my JH42 brush by Morphe, and I'm going to be going in on the other side with the leftover product that I have. I love how lightweight it feels and just very hydrating on the skin. So let's take it and just kind of pat it in. That was just with the leftover of what we had left from the other side. So that's really good. Um, I definitely feel like just even with that little bit of it, the brush side definitely concealed a little bit more than what we have this because it looks like the same coverage right here, except with different tools. So like I mentioned earlier, I think with a brush, you'll get a little bit faster coverage. Some on the nose. Forehead's pretty evened out and you can see how it just kind of perfects it with the added product, which is definitely something I appreciate. If you have really evened out skin, you probably will really like this because it'll cover up any little discoloration, blemish you may have right away. So I think for me, right off the bat, as somebody that does have, you know, problematic skin things that I want to cover, I would go in with a brush as opposed to a sponge. Okay, so you guys can see this is the face covered with the CoverGirl Skin and Makeup Foundation. And I'm really liking this. Feels very lightweight, very good. Um, and I feel like the coverage is definitely something that was able to build up to my needs for my rosacea. Um, and it's working really nicely with my sensitive skin. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is hop off camera, do the rest of my face, um, let you guys know if there's any issues between my products that I use and the foundation. Continue watching to see more info on it. Okay guys, so I'm back. I finished the entire face of makeup. I'm really happy with how everything came out. The skin is looking great, really impressed so far. It feels really good on my skin. It worked great with all my products. I did go ahead and use my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate as concealer 
concealer today and I set it with my Kylie Cosmetics powder, had no issues there. The only thing I did wanna do on camera in front of you guys is go ahead and just set the face a little bit. You guys know that this is a dewy finish foundation and you guys know that I do have that very oily T-zone so I want to just kind of put a little bit of powder in the areas where I may be getting a little bit more dewy through the day just so that we can kind of keep that precaution. Um, so I'm just using the Kylie powder in beige and I'm taking this brush, which is the M4... Three, three. I think it's M433. It's literally, I use it so much it's faded. But I'm just gonna apply some powder right here just to kind of lock it in. In here as well. So I do quickly wanna look at one more thing before I go and that is the price because I forgot to mention that. The price for this foundation is $11.99, which isn't bad, but it's definitely not the cheapest drugstore foundation. Um, but I'm excited to see its claims. I'm excited to see how it does for the day. Like always, I'm gonna be doing a, a natural lighting check-in in a few hours, just so you guys can see kind of where this stands then. And then of course, my final thoughts at the very end of the day. So stay tuned if you want to see what I think of this product. Hey guys, so right now it is 3.30 and I just wanted to come back on for a check-in so you guys could see my skin. This is what we are looking like. It's actually holding up pretty well. I thought I would be really, really dewy by now, but I think having that powder on as just kind of like the safety zone really helped me not be as oily like in the areas where I tend to get very oily. So I definitely appreciate that. I feel like everything else looks pretty good. As you can see, now around 3.30, it definitely looks very skin-like. It looks like I just have like a tinted moisturizer on, nothing heavy or crazy. Hi guys, so I am back right now. It is 10.09 p.m. And to say personally for me, I did enjoy it. I feel like for everyday use, it is very nice, very lightweight, skin-like. You will have dewiness come through at the end of the day if you are thinking, oh, I'm an oily skin person, is it gonna work for me? Am I gonna get super dewy? This is how it's gonna look. Now, to be honest, I thought it was gonna be way more dewy, um, so I'm kind of impressed that it looks like this because I feel like this is still something kind of manageable. Like, I can just go ahead and blot and it'll be okay. But I feel like when I'm looking for foundations for everyday use, I'm not too worried about me looking too, like, perfected and matte. I kind of want something more so that will look like skin through the long period of the time. So I really do feel like for me, this is definitely something I can see myself using for day to day when I'm running errands, when I want like a lightweight consistency that still covers me up. I was really impressed with the fact that this CoverGirl foundation covered a good amount of stuff that I wanted to cover. Like the redness was pretty much covered in a very healthy looking way. And I feel like it's worth my money um, for those 11 to $12. I feel like for somebody that has like dry to normal skin, I feel like they'll also really enjoy it because it does give them that pretty like luminosity that they're looking for. Now, if you're somebody that has very oily skin and you just hate things that are dewy and sheer and natural, then you're not gonna like this. I would love to see CoverGirl expand their shade range with this foundation because I feel like it's a little bit kind of, hmm, could be better, you know? Um, but besides that, I feel like it worked well. You guys saw me through the day, you guys saw the results, and I feel like we're doing pretty good. So those are pretty much all my thoughts. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this foundation review. Let me know down below what foundation review you want to see next. So hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also hit that notification bell so every single time I upload, you will be notified as soon as that video goes up. And that being said, I love you guys so much and I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye guys.